The Ediacaran fossils disappear right before the Cambrian explosion. And it's an area of active scientific debate as to why they disappear from the fossil record. Some scientists think that they went extinct due to changes in climate and environment. Other scientists think that they were outcompeted by the newly evolved animals. And still other scientists think that they survived into the Cambrian, but just weren't preserved in the rocks because of inherent changes in the way sediment was laid down once animals, like worms, started burrowing in that sediment. After the Ediacarans and during the Cambrian explosion, we see a proliferation of animal fossils in the rock record. We see some things that you would recognize pretty easily, like clams and snails, for example, and other things like trilobites that don't exist today. They went extinct. And so even though they're strange looking, they have similarities to organisms that you would see in the modern oceans, like horseshoe crabs. In contrast to that, the Ediacaran fossils don't really look like anything that we see in modern oceans. And that's one of the reasons why they're so interesting to scientists. The fate of the Ediacaran organisms in part depends on what they were. If they really were animals, then you and I might be considered the ancestors of the Ediacarans. But there's also a good chance that even if they were animals, the lineage that encompasses the Ediacaran fauna went extinct. And so there might not be any living representatives of the Ediacaran fauna today. However, because we know that they were living organisms, they are related to us and to trees and to every other living thing on Earth. Because all living organisms have one single last common ancestor. What that ancestor looked like remains a big mystery, and there's many scientists from many different disciplines who are trying to figure out that problem right now. And they're doing that using lots of different techniques. So people who are geneticists are looking at the DNA of modern organisms to try to determine what the DNA of the last common ancestor looked like. And paleontologists are looking for new fossils in older and older rocks to try to see if they can find a fossilized remains of the last common ancestor. And theoretical biologists, who are basically mathematicians who work on biological problems, are trying to model what the last common ancestor of all organisms looked like, based on our knowledge of modern life today.